Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. How'd you do over the weekend learning how to create something into your life by thinking about it? Well, I've had some of you call me. I've had a couple of you email me saying, wow, you're completely shocked. What you did actually worked. And these were small little things that people thought into their life. And a few of you called and said it didn't work. You must be doing something wrong and you wanted more help. So here we are today. We're going to do a little bit of help with you today. First of all, understand you didn't do anything wrong. What's happening is you probably broke your focus. This is the whole key to this. It's about focusing. And you have to hold that focus on an intention of what you want to bring into your life without convoluting it into a whole bunch of things. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to start in the morning. And here's the first thing I want you to do. I want you to get out of bed. Then I want you to walk to the nearest mirror. First thing, this is before you have a cup of coffee. This is before you even brush your teeth. I want you to go to the mirror, no matter how messed up your hair is, and look at yourself in the eyes and decide you like that person you're looking at. One of the biggest problems is people have contempt for their self, which really messes up this energy that you're wanting to create. One of the things I want you to think about is what you like about yourself, and look at yourself as a unique, talented, very creative individual. Let's not look at ourselves and see our eyebrows have grown together, our nose is too big, our smile is crooked and start looking at your complexion. That's not what I'm talking about. I want you to look at the soul, the person you are, and the things that you love, and the goodness in you. That's the first thing we have to do. In order to manifest and bring things into your life through focusing, you have to really like who you are, and you have to understand that you're worthy of the good things life has to offer to you. Remember, if you become wealthy, if you become healthy, if you become wiser, you're going to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. You can do a lot with all of those resources. If you insist on staying where you are without growing, you become sometimes part of the problem. You have to understand by good things happening to you, it's really good for everyone else around you. And you have to understand and see that linkage so you understand it. Also, I want you to really, really decide this week you're going to learn how to do this. And we're going to work on this most of the week. This power of manifesting is not magic. It's really the law of physics working on your behalf. So once you've established looking at yourself and get out of the way of all the contempt you have for yourself, I want you to look in your eyes and make a decision. And that decision is how you intend the day to go. Now, we're not going to get into big thinking here. It's just this is going to be a great day. The reason it's going to be a great day is because I am going to decide it is, and anything that happens during this day, I accept the fact that I have pulled it into my life in some way or another, even if I don't understand it. Then the next thing I want you to do is think about one thing that you want to have happen that day that's good for you. Maybe somebody, again, is going to buy you a cup of coffee. Maybe it's going to lunch. Maybe it's having an extra hour that you didn't know you are going to have. But decide right now what you want to have happen. Maybe it's a certain person at work who's going to treat you differently. Maybe you're going to get along better with the boss. Or maybe when you come home tonight, your wife is actually going to tell you and show you that she loves you. Or maybe it's your husband. Intend it right now before the day starts and look in your eyes and smile and say, this is what I want to attract to my life today. And just say it to yourself. By doing that with a strong intention, then feel what it would feel in order to have that. Really feel it. Really kind of feel it down in your gut and understand if you feel it right down here, what's going to happen is it takes up more neurology. It creates more brain power working on this, which creates more energy in your life. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed or not. If you walk up to someone, if you get close enough to them, you can literally feel the heat coming off their body. That's the energy I'm talking about. And that energy is very, very powerful. It creates everything in your life, whether you want to believe it or not. So today, let's take a look at this. Let's work with it a little bit more. And I want you to intend your day from the beginning. And let's get that far and see what happens. Give me some feedback. You can email me if you want. That email's right on this website. 
And also, if you have good time with it, I want to know what you feel worked for you. And if you really are having a hard time getting anything to happen, sometimes it is the chunk size of the goal as we're learning how to do this. Other times it's probably your focus. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Until then, bye-bye.